Hi guys, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, th welcome. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm streaming this live on Twitch right now, and we're going to do this live patch notes discussion. I've got the patch notes here on my phone. Uh, this is the second time I'm trying to record this. I'm playing on Bluestacks right now, if you didn't notice. And Bluestacks really sucks and crashed my game completely. So hopefully that doesn't happen again and we can start this discussion. So there's a new map. Uh, called Carts and Darts. Let's see what difficulty it is. It looks like an intermediate difficulty map. And uh, I'll just play, I'll just uh, look at it on hard for a moment. It looks, uh, looks pretty interesting, honestly. Let's see. Um, it's another thing I can go for Black Border on. And the more maps, the better. That's pretty cool. I'll have a lot more streaming content now that I can stream this new map. But as we load in the game, let's see what this map looks like. Hopefully this map is pretty cool. Or, you know, we can freeze again and... Um, this can make me really annoyed. You know, we're just gonna keep waiting. We're gonna wait, and we're gonna wait. But uh, let's talk about some of the other changes. Oh, cool. Okay, never mind. So we made it in the game. Uh, so it looks like you can remove the tires here. That's pretty nice. And then so the balloons start here, I assume. Uh, hold on. So they go around, and then they go around here. And Oh, so that's pretty neat. So kind of uh, they cross the paths twice. This looks like a really easy map. I'm just going to play the first round, see what I think of it. Um, if my game won't load... Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Please place the dart monkey. Okay. So let's just see how the balloons travel. I just placed my free dart monkey. Let's let's see how it looks. Uh, the game is a little bit laggy. I'm sorry about that. And so yeah, it looks like they go through there. They pass back right here. So dart monkeys are like over here going to be cool. And I assume they loop back around and go there. This will be a really easy track, I feel. And so I'll probably play that on Chimp soon uh, when it comes out on Steam. That's a really awesome map. I'm looking forward to that. Another thing is reverse mode has been more reverse, so it reverses the spawning order of every balloon, and uh, I would show that, but I don't really have anything to do. I think the really, the big thing that everyone, that like, is super cool, changes the whole feel of the game, is uh, 3D blimps, and I'll show that in sandbox mode, but first, um, Captain Churchill has a new skin, and so we're going to buy that really quick and look at this animation, let's see how cool this is. We're going to buy this really quick. 2,500 monkey money. That's pretty cool. And let's see it. Oh, it doesn't have a cool thing. Well, that's unfortunate, but here we go. This is um, the Sentai Churchill skin. And it looks really cool. Like, that is really neat. I wish I would have shown off um, the other tiers. I don't think I can do that, can I? Oh, unfortunately not. I should have... We'll be able to see that in a little bit. But let's go on to... How about Monkey Meadow? Uh... And we'll go into sandbox mode. And so the cool new thing that uh, is in the patch notes is uh, 3D Moabs and 3D Blimps. And I'm really excited to check these out because this is going to be super cool. And I think we're going to spend the rest of the time here in uh, sandbox mode as I show the cool thing. So here's the new Churchill skin. It looks green. I love it. Churchill is one of my favorite heroes. I wish it, I wish Churchill were better, but, you know, you can't, can't win them all. Uh, let's let's just upgrade it and we'll see what it looks like when it's leveled up So it gets some nice pink shades. It looks like that's really cool And let's see what it looks like at level 10. Oh, it just gets bigger. Ah, oh, this is really cool It, it kind of has like that samurai feel which is really interesting Let's see. It's not really gaining anything new It's probably a look really cool at level 20. It just looks like it's getting slightly bigger. I think but here we go level 20 Oh, that looks so cool. It's so sick with, like, these glasses and the gray. It really is a nice color combination. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. Um, so, yeah, church, this new Churchill skin, really cool. Uh, way better than the original Churchill. I will definitely be doing uh, chimps uh, church with Churchill at some point so I can show it off. But anyway, look at this Moab. It's 3D. This is so cool. Um... I like I like the way it looks when it's cracked, and that that's really neat. Uh, wow, I'm, why is Churchill having trouble popping those blocks? That's really strange. But yeah, um, 
uh, the game is going slowly there, but let's just look at all the blimps. Let's just send one of each. And the DDT, I think, looks really nice. I love, I really do love the way these look. Um, a lot of people have mixed feelings on them, but I, I think they look really great. So uh, the BID is getting a little bit obscured by the... I mean, the ZMG is getting a little bit obscured, but I I really I'm really digging these 3D blimps. So I mean, this is cool. It's a really nice uh, art style change and a really good direction change, in my opinion. A lot of people are talking about how it might you know look awful late game, and I'll probably do a late game test when it comes out on Steam how they look because I do have my round 1201 safe, and we'll check those out. So another thing is that additional Insta Monkeys will now be awarded for every 100 extra rounds. Uh, that's pretty cool. More Insta Monkeys. I really wish I would have had that on my uh, 1201 grind, but uh, not much you can really do about that. Let's check some. Let's just read some of these uh, bug fixes. Uh, make sure that I'm kind of clicking so that blue stacks doesn't crash. Um, In-game patch notes should no longer be bug buggy. I've never looked at them in game. Uh, let's see. Game layout fixed for iPhone XS. Cool. Races should no longer crash in relation to bomber races. Bomber races were really good in races. I didn't do races, so I'm not exactly sure how that affects the game, but that's really cool. Layering issue when holding some of the daily challenge icons for descriptions. That's that's all right. Some large issues with game time and speed have been resolved in many places. I'm really curious about that. Um, hoping that uh, chips games don't take like 20 to 30 minutes because I honestly I feel like that's a little too long. I feel like uh, chimps non-stop should only be around 15 minutes, uh, but only time will tell when we uh, attempt to take on some more chimps maps, especially when we try Churchill out, so I'm excited. Um, heroes with special skins now use the correct voice. I never really ran into that. Uh, Gwendolyn always had the correct voice for me on Steam. Don't really know what the huge issue was that was with that. Uh, no Knockback effects uh, with balloons no longer cut things in half. Uh, let's just check this out. Let's get up a super monkey. Um, we'll just get knockback on it and send just like, I don't know, a ton of ceramics. I mean, we probably won't see the effect, but just to note that like knockback won't, the knockback won't do that. Let's see, Spice Islands inst won't always look like a holiday map. That's pretty cool. Um, Peninsula no longer stops some towers from functioning. All right. I mean, I didn't play much Peninsula. I need, still need to do that on Chimps, but that wasn't a huge issue. Um, fix an issue with Ice and Glues. Sometimes not targeting Moabs. That's probably really good. I don't use Ice and Glue that much, but Moab Glue is pretty good. So hopefully that makes it a lot better. Um, what was I? Oh, yeah. Peninsula no longer allows water towers to be placed on land. Yeah, that's probably a little bit busted, um, but probably not. All right. Ice Monkey. Um the Arctic Wind should now freeze the water on logs. That's pretty cool. And they've updated the descriptions on the Tier 4 and Tier 5. So let's read these. Oh, shoot. So let's look at Snowstorm. Uh, I don't really know the exact differences between these. The ability is so cold. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Thank you so much for the follow, Excalibur. Excalibur 2K. Uh, much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'm discussing this right now, but if you have any questions about the patch, uh, feel free to chat. So, that's interesting. Uh, glue gunner. Glue gunners should, no, uh, should now work on, uh, shoots. Uh, I did shoots on chimps already, but I might have to change. I might have to try it again, and so maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be good. I don't know. Uh, now that Apache is changed, uh, I mean, not Apache, uh, Com Comanche. Maybe, maybe glue is the strap. Who knows? Uh, monkey sub. Uh, monkey sub's advanced intel should now no longer fail to correctly ohm on the first shot of each round. Uh, never really noticed a problem with that. I doubt that's a big issue, but I'm glad that was changed. Obviously, anything anything is nice. And uh, first strike will no longer lock up the game when hitting black balloons. Are also a really good change. Now here's the probably the biggest change of the entire update is the Comanche. And so the Comanche uh, commander, all of the small, the small balloons, <laughs> wait, the smaller Comanches, uh, will now be affected by uh, alchemists. So what I want to try and see is if this thing can still take on, let's say like round 95 and 98. I I would really hope so. Um, 
So this is the Comanche, like, still insanely good. That's basically what we're about to check. So let's check round 95. Oh, I still have Churchill up. May hey, let's sell that. Oh, I don't have camo detection either, so probably should get that. Um, it's okay, we're gonna lose some lives, but so there's Comanches back in action, and let's see how uh, well it takes on these DDTs. Also, we will now see the uh, Moabs in action, which is pretty cool. And we'll see these DDTs go ham. So yeah, Comanche sucks. Uh, well, let's try getting MIB. Uh, let's see if that makes it any better. No, it doesn't really get any better. Oh uh, yeah, let's let's clear again. Let's let's try this round again. Oh, I accidentally cleared my towers. Um, yeah, we weren't exactly prepared for that. So let's see. Let's see how this fares now. I'm let me check. I'm pretty sure the Comanche wasn't affected in any other way. Um, yeah, I I didn't read that the Comanche was uh was changed. So we can try out this alchemist on the Comanche. And we can try this again. And uh, we'll put in um, we'll put um, an MIB by it this time and see if it does any better. We got jungle drums. And now let's try it around 95. Let's see if this does any better or if uh, basically uh, alchemist plus uh, Comanche is basically rip. Comanche is still a really good tower. But maybe, maybe you know, this this could have completely killed it for good. But only time will tell. I, I definitely want to see if it can still do 98 and 100. Yeah, this doesn't look good. It doesn't seem like it's doing enough damage. At least, you know, the damage that it used to. Maybe with an Ice Skull Impale this would be better, but... Yeah, this is... That's not exactly nice. We'll try 98. We'll see if it can... Do well on against ninety eight. You know, maybe maybe we need a sabo or something, but this that thing definitely cannot take ninety nine, um, which is really unfortunate. Um, this thing is definitely uh, fallen from grace now that alchemist has, uh, now that the alk buff has been changed. Uh, it fires so fast that you really don't have the alchemist buff for very long, and so. As you can see, we're not really taking this on too well. And yeah, I'm really digging this art style for the blimps. Um, the more I see it, the more I seem to fall in love with it, actually. Um, but unfortunately, this won't. This will definitely not be enough for maps like Rake or Ch um, Rake or any of those maps. So this is a, a really an unfortunate change for our heli pilot friend. Um, lost but not forgotten. Uh, this thing is just yeah. Let's let's try the bad really quick. We'll do round one hundred. Um, oh shoot! What the heck? Oh, I forgot I have uh things on. Will it recognize? Oh crap! Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I can't use numlock anymore. <laughs> My bad. Uh, let's check out the bad now. <laughs> And seems like, you know, we're tearing through the bad fairly easily. But, I mean, this is this is still kind of rough, basically. I'm going to try... I want to try this with Ice Skull Impale, because I feel like um, Ice Skull Impale will make this tower still good. And then we'll try it on 98 and see how it fares. Um, so it looks like it'll still mostly take on the bad by itself, which is really good. So the tower is not dead, but it isn't very good. Actually, no, it's not even take care of the bad children, but at the same time, uh, we have, we have other, um, other towers, which is good. So let's try this with Ice School Impale, and let's try round 98, see what happens. Maybe this will go a lot better. Not 198, definitely not. Definitely can't handle that. Uh, let's try round 98. Let's set this to strong, as I usually do. And I think with Ice Skull Impale, this will be good enough. Yeah, so I, you basically need Ice Skull Impale to make Comanche work now. Um, but 
you know, it's that's completely fine. It looks, yeah, it'll take down this round just fine, it seems. Maybe you'll need a little bit more extra help, but the Comanche's not dead. It's still a really good tower, but I'm really curious to see how Apache Prime does with the new update. So, um, yeah, this is, the fortified blimps are a bit rough. Maybe you'll need uh, the shattering shells or something. But, yeah, Comanche is still, still a viable tower, definitely. It's just fallen from grace a lot. And uh, if you didn't get your uh, chimps medals with the Comanche uh, cheese, uh, I feel bad for you all. Because uh, I definitely did. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like we'll clear it on this map anyway. But yeah, this is a lot, Comanche is a lot rougher than it used to be. It also, it also doesn't really look like it's shooting explosions as often as it used to. Which is also another downfall. Yeah, can't handle 98. You'll have some other towers, but... Unfortunately, uh, yeah, Comanche fallen from grace. Let's uh, let's clear out our monkeys here, and talk about some of the other changes. Uh, Mortar monkey 4xx should now damage DDTs when given detection. That's pretty good. Um, let's see what else. XX4 now counts damage dealt from fortifications being stripped. Um, never really noticed that as a problem. I mean, so I assume what that means is when you would uh, when you would hit hit something with shattering shells um, you wouldn't actually do damage just remove it and that's really nice um the blue incineration the xx5 we'll just get one of those up really quickly you don't really need to show it um this the blue incineration now does even more damage um one extra tick of damage over time that's really nice and there's some updated mortar mortar descriptions also wait this I never actually knew this dropped a um, wall of fire, like fire on the track. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was a new fix or not, but that's really neat. So, big rip here, guys. Next one is uh, the Wizard Monkey resolves the issue of wall of fire doing too much damage. Uh, that kind of sucks to me because I really loved wall of fire. Oh, but if you didn't see there, um, we'll get to this later. But uh, the Wall of Fire uh, now costs less, costs 970 is now. But uh, I want to try this against round 39 to see if it's still like viable. And see if it, if it's still like spamming it as a decent strategy. Oh, I used Numlock again. Oh, crap. Uh, let's try this. Let's try that. Ugh, I gotta stop doing that. Um, but let's just see if this will handle round 39. Uh, I think it should. This should still be like a good good early game tower for sure yeah it oh i don't even think it pops rainbows now yeah it barely can pop rainbows can't really do anything to ceramics um let's see let's get like um let's get like three of them and see if they can take on like um let's see if it can take on like 49 I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing on some of these rounds, but I don't know if Wall of, Wall of Fire, you know, now that it's been nerfed, probably won't be nearly as good as it was. Um, but it, obviously, if you still get them in mass, looks like they'll still be really effective. Uh, yeah, so like getting three of them, it'll it'll beat Ceramics just fine. Uh, let's let's try for, uh, let's just see how this does against 63. I'm just curious. Um, I'm more curious than anything. Um, probably won't so, probably won't take it on, but um, yeah, you know, still does you know wildfire still does a nice amount of damage, and so that's good. Uh, Super monkey, Super monkeys now correctly sacrifice Arctic wind monkeys instead of selling them. Okay, so uh, that's good if you sacrifice Arctic winds. Um, Ninja XX4 sticky bomb should no longer be removed by glue gunners. All right, good change, good change. Um, Alchemist 2XX now allows Ice Monkeys to pop blood. Cool. And the uh, Bloon Master Alchemist, uh, the bottom tier, fifth tier, bottom path, fifth tier, uh, can no longer cause the round to prematurely end. All right, interesting. Um, Monkey Village. Uh, Monkey Village XX5 will no longer cause sacrifice farms to detect, deduct from total and daily challenges. I don't really know what that means, so we're not going to think about it. 
Uh, banana farms. Resolved an issue with banana farms. Not always generating the correct amount of cash in races. Okay, so doubt banana farms will ever be viable in races, but, you know, good change. Good change. Um, easily, um, I I won't show all the changes. Um, I have Churchill up right now. I, I could go to easily, but I think um, there's not really much I can say and, and use. Um, the descriptions have been updated. Can no longer strip uh, from purple balloons, you know, because purple balloons are immune to magic, you know. Um, Moab Hex will no longer fail to destroy Moabs with big balloon sabotage. That's awesome. Um, you're playing with monkey knowledge and you're using easily. You could have gotten screwed by that, so that's good. Uh, easily's level curve has not been fixed, so basically that means you can't get the level 20 and one-shot the bad. That's a big rip to anyone who is using easily for an uh, easy bad kill. Um, easily's damage counter should now counter damage dealt with the Moab Hex, and the Sacrificial Totem will no longer crash the game. That's good. You know, nothing. The less game crashes, the better. Um, Heart Stopper ability ability. Don't even know what that is. I don't. I have actually no idea what that is, so um, we'll ignore that for now. And um, step seven in loading loads a lot faster now, and that's really cool. I hate how long it ta took um, in Steam, so that's awesome. And so, yeah, let's get to the balance changes. Balance changes, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, Crossbow Master, we'll, we'll get up all of these, you know, why not? Crossbow Master's been buffed. Um... Now I'll just say, let's send out 63 against it. Um, but the critical shot appearance has uh, been increased to 10. So instead of... So yeah, it'll basically take out an entire ceramic. This thing could take down 63 on its own now. Although I think it could previously. But yeah, getting a crit basically uh, takes down a lot of the ceramic. Um, especially if you hit like a ceramic that's already broken. You can basically just reduce it to nothing. And, um, yeah, this thing is more viable now, I would say, although probably still not very viable. So, unfortunately, um, I really wish this thing got a price, like, buff, um, and only costs, like, 20k now. I used to say 13k, but with increased crit damage, this thing can probably be around 20k, and I'd say it would be perfectly reasonable. Um, Bionic Boomer now does more damage to Moabs. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. Let's just send a Moab out against it. And, I mean, it's still not going to pop a Moab on its own. But if you amass them, it'll be pretty good. But, yeah, it's actually doing some damage to Moabs. And Boomerangs struggle against Moabs unless you're using the Moab push. So that's really nice. So Bomb Shooter will now refresh stun duration when hitting stun balloons. So 63 again. Another perfect round to try this. Uh, I guess we'll get, uh, I guess we'll get that. I don't really know exactly what cross path I'd want, but we'll see how this, uh, stuns against, um, 63, hopefully, or not. Um, maybe we should have gotten a missile launcher, because this thing, yeah, but as you can see, it restuns, so at least that's good, but yeah, this thing on its own is not too great. Um, yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to mess around with that a little bit later. Uh, maybe, yeah, let's let's try maybe getting a missile launcher with this instead. And see if we can really see that uh, multi-stun effect. Uh, hopefully we see that stun reset. And you can definitely see it when... Um, yeah, you can definitely see it when it hits the yellows again. Oh my gosh. Um, all of those balloons that are getting stunned... And yeah, okay, so those greens got stunned again. So as you can see, you know, you can get stunned while being stunned and it refreshes it. Um, that's really nice. Bloon Impact isn't really... Um, like, that'll be really good for Bloon Crush. Um, Bloon Crush is looking to be really good. I was testing out Bloon Crush uh, a couple streams ago, I think. A stream or two ago. And this thing is like Ice Skull and Pale, but a little bit more expensive. And with Striker Jones, this could probably be a viable tower. Some people were... Uh, posting about this, so uh, look out for uh, Balloon Crush might be meta now, even though I think uh, I can use a price nerf, I mean price buff, because it is really expensive. It's like Comanche level expensive, but not as good as Comanche, so. Uh, let's see, lots, like, there's a really cool tax shooter um, 
buff that I really want to try out. Um, the attack shooter base fire rate has increased. You know, that's no big deal. Um, attack shooter base is pretty bad, but I mean, if this thing attacks a little bit faster as you get upgrades, that'll be really neat. Um, attack shooter is just an underrated tower and an underlooked tower, except for Blade Maelstrom. But this uh, Inferno Ring now has a new ability, and uh, the pro tip says that we should try it against around 98. But it launches a meteor uh, at strong balloons with a cooldown of 7 seconds. It does 700 damage and has infinite range. So, yeah, tooltip uh, in the patch notes says to try this out against round 98, and I will most certainly do that. Um, now apparently, this shreds 98 and will make the Inferno Ring a good tower, <laughs> maybe? Inferno Ring was already getting some love, but let's see how well this does against round 98. Um, the, okay, so the shooting, it doesn't look as strong as I initially expected. Yeah, I think this is going to need, I don't think this is exactly good against 98. Um, maybe with, uh, maybe with some other towers, yeah, I don't, maybe a little bit of false advertising there against 98. Um, maybe you need, you need something else by this. This thing is really expensive. Maybe if we got, like, a Comanche... Uh, this could be good. You know, we can we can get an alchemist to buy it, but yeah, let's get an alchemist to buy it just so we can talk more about uh, more about this. But yeah, maybe maybe with um maybe with uh this heli pilot, maybe it'll be a little bit better. This thing is still not very good against super ceramics, so I don't I don't really this doesn't make short work of ninety eight. This is. Um, it's, it's a good tower, but, like, it's just not good enough to warrant, it's just, yeah, it's not good enough, I think, um, although, really cool in concept, it still could be better, and it could still be, uh, it could still, could still be cheaper, that's unfortunate, I was really hoping it would be better against 98, uh, but, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Uh, the balloon solver has had damage per tick increased from two to three, so maybe, maybe this will finally be good against super ceramics. Uh, let's put it like right here and maybe test against. Yeah, we could actually test against ninety eight. Why not? Let's let's see how it does. Um, let's let's hope this is like decent, cause. Uh, let's see if it can even. If it can even stop uh, super ceramics a lot easier. Oh, okay. Yeah, those super ceramics are getting melted. Oh, man. Okay, so I can see a lot of merit in this tower now. Um, yeah, wow. That's really good. <laughs> that That's definitely good. Uh, I, yeah. I think, yeah, once they get glued, they get... They get popped really easily. So, I know we have a Comanche up, but the Comanche doesn't seem like it's doing the bulk of the damage. Um, Boon Solver seems to be really good now. Uh, I wish I could test against, like, here, we could, we could try maybe, like, 81. Crap. I'm so used to Steam. Yeah, let's try 81. Let's see how this does. Not 71. Let's try 81. And see if this is good enough. Oh, I think my game crashed. I think my game crashed. Um, yeah, my game did crash. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Let's load back up. And I think we're get maybe we'll play on Spice Islands, but um, probably not because I don't think uh, I don't think it's worth playing. <laughs> just to just to see that it's not a holiday theme. But as we uh, load, as we load in the game, hopefully, uh, hopefully the game loads. Uh, that is a big. Hopefully, we can talk about some other things. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the glue gunner. 
but I'm very I'm very interested to see how late game chimps will play out now. Now that uh, Comanche abuse isn't really possible, um, with with the advent of bombs being really good and balloon crush, I think balloon crush strats might might be a possible thing. Even though it's balloon crush is really expensive, I really think. Um, it has a lot of stopping power against rounds like round 95 and things of that nature. So it's pro this is, you know, so Bloom Crush probably probably a meta strat in all honesty. Oh, we got to close Blue Stacks. Seems like Blue Stacks. Blue Stacks ain't liking that. Uh, but, you know, Chimps, Chimps definitely looks like it's going to be a time. I think that's some Steam. Yeah, I think I opened Steam. The Steam BTD6. I did. Oh. Uh, that's that's a big rip. Uh, so as we as we load, you know, kind of sucks that. <laughs> that you can see the OBS and uh, for a moment. Uh, kind of sucks how that happened, but oh well. Uh, late game, yeah, late game chimps definitely something to look out for. Um, getting bad popping power is now going to be a lot harder without Comanche, and that's just that's just that. Um, Com with Comanche not being as good anymore, like Comanche used to just absolutely destroy 80, uh, 98, and now it won't even touch a candle. Um, and yeah, I I didn't know the Alchemist really buffed it that hard. So you know, we'll see we'll see where things go. We're just, we'll see where things go. Um, let's keep talking about the Glue Gunner um, X5 X Glue Storm. Uh, now take additional damage. That's pretty cool, even though you mostly use Glue Storm for Moabs. Uh, that's interesting. Super Glue price decrease. You know, we got a price buff. That's really nice. I wish we had more price buffs, and I honestly think Super Glue could probably drop to 30k. Um, also, it slows percentages. The slow percentage has been reduced to 90, so it's not as good. So I guess... I guess um, Maybe it would have been too strong, although I don't know. I never had to really use super glue, so we'll have to check that out. And super glue now deals damage upon impact. Um, Fifty damage to Moabs sounds like a lot. I don't know exactly how much that is. We'll have to check that in sandbox once we get in. So that'll be first. And you know, while we're while we're waiting, let's talk about the wizard. Um, you know, so I already mentioned that the wall of fire price has been decreased. Which is okay, considering that it got nerfed, and it's not as good now. Uh, I really loved Wallfire. I think it'll still be really useful on um, Half Cash. Just because it's, you know, it basically just destroys rainbows and under fairly easy without fail. Uh, Dragon, oh, so Dragon Breast Wallfire, fire rate increases. Um, you know, more incentive to get uh, Dragon's Breath. And uh, Summon Phoenix has more damage. I, I doubt that'll... Really play much of an effect. I mean, we do have easily here. I would go over the changes, but um, I don't think it's really worth looking at. Unfortunately, easily just um, I, I, you know, as a hero, it's interesting, but you know, not really much we can talk about there. Let's go back to sandbox mode and try out. Um, we'll try out super glue. Actually, I'm really curious to see how this can handle. Let's say, let's try round 98. And maybe we'll get a Comanche or something by it too. Or a Bloon Crush just for ultimate stun. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, it's a Super Glue plus um, some Bombs and Striker Drones plus Bloon Crush. Sounds like a really good strategy that could definitely be viable. I don't know if it's affordable though. Uh, maybe you'll have to replace uh, Bloon Crush with Icicle and Pale. But maybe, you know, maybe a Primary Towers plus a. Uh, Plus, uh, village chimps run in the future for sure. So let's try out this um, uh, super glue. This will this will really help late game too, I think. And we'll try it. We'll we'll try round ninety eight by itself first. We'll just to see how much damage it does. I'm really curious about this. Let's see. And yeah, it slows. It yeah, the slow isn't as good as it used to be. And it damages blimps every single hit. And it looks to be like it's damaging these fortified BFBs pretty good. So I think, yeah, like this this looks good. And maybe pair it with a Bloon Crush um, for absolute, absolute domination. 
and you're looking at a really good wow this <laughs> this is crazy um this combination could probably do insanely well i mean get recursive clusters around it and you know we definitely need to try out this combination pretty much like this just looks really good um it basically is perma stalling 98 and then you can deal with the bloods with the recursive clusters um this is this is madness honestly that's awesome uh, let's get out the balloons so yeah super glue looking to be a really strong and valuable upgrade now and i could definitely see it used instead of the ice golem pale um although ice golem pale does a lot more damage i'll have to check that out later anyway um we're gonna skip right over the wizard monkey because we talked about it it's not really that much of a change and i already uh, showed it off let's go to the ninja monkey um, sticky Bomb, Detonation Timer, reduces from 4 seconds to 3 seconds. Nin sticky Bomb still probably will never be good. Uh, Master Bomber, Sticky Bomb, now stuns Moabs. Oh, that's interesting. So this this could also be good on round 98 as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is expensive as heck. Yeah, it's... Um, from what I've noticed, this tower is more of a late game, like a end game tower. Because you're just never really going to be able to afford this. Might as well go Grandmaster Ninja. And yeah, the stuns look like they're not doing anything. It looks like we're not doing any damage to the Moabs at all, really. It's um, still not really a worthwhile tower. Um, although it's pretty good, it could use a huge price buff, in my opinion. Um, so for the Alchemist, my favorite tower, fun fact. Looks like this is now... Um, so when you get permanent brew, now you also get infinite acidic mixture dip. That's pretty cool. More of a late game change than anything. Doesn't really matter that much. And the total transformation uh, cooldown has been decreased. That's awesome. I love... Uh, I like the alchemist abilities a lot. And I really wish I used them more. Uh, Cripple Moab got a price buff. That's really good. I could see myself using Cripple Moab late game because Sniper's really good in chips. Uh, monkey subs, we'll just talk about these changes because we're not on a water map, unfortunately. Maybe I should have picked Spice Islands, but, um, you know, uh, Ballistic Missiles now shoot half a second faster. That's pretty cool. Preemptive Strike shoots really fast Ballistic Missiles. Oh, okay, I want to try that. We're going to go to Spice Islands, I think, because that sounds like an insane change. Um, let's go to Spice Islands so we can see the new... You know, we can go back to the old the old ways. But I think this might be ridiculous on round 98. This might be insanely cool. And also, we got to try out the new sub-commander as well, it looks like. So, let's check this out. Alright. So, we got the preemptive strike. And let's let's try out round ninety eight and just see how amazing this is. It's not preemptively striking anything. There we go. I put a sub right here. And let's see. Oh, it doesn't seem like the missiles. Okay, maybe the missiles aren't as good as I remember. Uh, they still do a lot of damage, but yeah, this will not be good enough for 98. Um, can this still take down a bad? Let's find out. I don't think this will be able to take down a bad, unfortunately. On its own, this tower used to be able to take down a bad, and... Yeah, this is a little too much, it seems, unfortunately enough. Although this, this tower, yeah, the new ballistic missile seems pretty okay, but... Uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's good enough. So, seemingly, uh, a little bit bad. Don't get stream sniped? What do you mean by that? I'm just, I'm just talking about the update. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I was gonna check out, um, let's go to Frozen Over. Let's check out the new sub commander. Um, so the sub commander buffs itself and it has double the attack rate. Um, it's really cool. 
favorite cheese. I got to go with my favorite cheese uh, definitely used to be Comanche plus Permaspike, but uh, I'll have to find the new cheese for this game, <laughs> unfortunately, now with the Comanche nerf. Oh, Submarine is right here. Okay. So I really wanted to see. Let's let's just compare the difference in fire rate. And we'll get up our free dart monkey just so we can have the infinite range, basically. Uh, we'll get up the free dart monkey, like, right here. Oh, crap. I always hit upgrades. Um, let's just try against a bunch of pink balloons. Uh, maybe, no, we'll try against a Moab. That'll probably be better. So, shoots pretty fast already. Shatter cheese is really good. And now let's see the sub commander. And this should shoot twice as fast. I sent a BFB by accident. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you can see that change. Oh, that is really nice. That's really cool. Okay, so I like the sub commander now. Um, let's see. How well does, like, if we get this... Can this take on a bad? I'm really curious. Like, how well does this take on... Let's say, yeah, how about we take on a ZOMG first, see how that does. And then we'll try a, uh, bad. I kind of look like Sue. That's really weird. I'm a, I am a native Nebraskan, actually. So to be compared to look like Sue is really strange, because I'm, I'm very Asian. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> Uh, let's try a bat against this. Like, this is just three, and, like, we completely destroyed that ZOMG. I think Sub Commander l looks really viable. Um, wow, I can I can see Sub Commander doing well in, uh, in late game. Maybe we'll use this on Peninsula. Oh, crap. Wait, what the heck? Why can't you guys see that? Why can't you guys see there? That's weird. Um, let's see. Oh, I should get a village. I should get a village before I die to DDTs. Um, can't really place one, though, in a decent spot. We're just gonna hope this can work. At least we'll hit, um, we'll hit the main sub, so that's okay. I mean, obviously, if I had more towers, more towers around, I think we'd be fine. And this is only three subs. Like, this can buff up to five subs. And... Wow, yeah. No, this thing can this thing can rock late game. Uh I yeah, sub commander looks really good on paper. Uh time will tell to see if this will even be good. Um yeah, obviously I didn't have the correct setup for sub commander, but looking at it now, it looks really great. Um I'm surprised song requests aren't on. Uh no, I wanted to make this purely a discussion, so I uh, I didn't load Nightbot. <laughs> I didn't load the Nightbot song requests. Also, I'm going to go with legs, not hot dogs. Hope you don't mind. Uh, we're getting closer to the end. There's still a lot to go through. Um, so next is the Monkey Ace buffs. Um, never miss targeting. Just got a ton of buffs. Increased projectile lifespan and speed and increased uh, homing. Maybe this will actually be decent against, you know, rounds like 40 and stuff like that. Um, let's try this out. You know, why not? Let's let's try it against a Moab. Maybe, maybe it can do decent. Um, let's make sure Super Ceramics are off, though. We'll just go round one. And wow, yeah, wow, it actually homes. It homes in really well. Will this take down Ceramics is the real question. Um... Yeah, it's still not strong. I still don't think it's strong enough. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, we'll go to the Spectre changes now. As you can see, the Spectre is now uh, 25,000, which is more um, than you get in Deflation, because in Deflation you only get 20,000. So basically, you can no longer cheese every Deflation map by getting up a Spectre. But in return, they've also buffed the Spectre a bit to have increased Dart and Bomb damage. And so let's try it against a ZOMG and see how that does. Uh, I think, yeah, so they increased the Spectre's price, but, you know, they gave us something back, so it's, Spectre's still a really good tower, um, and I'm glad they buffed it, 
uh, without you know with the price increase. But this just means you know you can't grind muddy puddles just with Spectre for XP, which kind of sucks. Now you gotta level up the hard way, which is actually playing the game, <laughs> unlike sitting with muddy puddles on your desktop every every now and then. Uh, so yeah, Spectre really good tower. Let's see, and the Flying Fortress was changed a bit as well. Let's see if it can solo a bad. I highly doubt it can, but we're going to find out. So it has increased dart damage, which increased from 2 to 4. And uh, bomb damage increased from 3 to 5. And wow. Yeah, no, it's shredding this bad. I mean, you're never going to afford this in a real game because it's $100,000. Like, that's so much. But... I think this is actually, like, a usable tower now. I think it actually does enough damage to say that, yes, the Flying Fortress is a usual, usable tower. So that is that is good. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, the, shred, uh, the Sky Shredder damage from Radial Darts, so it just does more damage. Um, I don't really see this being used very much ever still to this day. Like... It can do more damage. Let's see. Can it pop a zoom MG? Oh, it, it does pretty well. Okay. You know, so maybe the increased dart damage does uh, does a bit, but, you know, still can't really crowd control that well. I just, I think it needs more darts, honestly, um, to make it good instead of more damage. Uh, but maybe on the right maps, this thing can still be really usable. So we'll have to pass on it. All right. So, back to the heli pilot. You know, we talked about the Comanche change. And so now we'll talk about the heli pilot change. And it looks like um, the Apache dart ship, uh, unfortunately, has had a price buff um, to 21000 which kind of sucks. Um, but it has increased rocket uh, damage and just and increased machine gun damage. Um, the machine gun fire rate, I mean, has been increased to 20, uh, 25%. And it has the rocket damage increase from 1 to 2. So basically it has almost double damage. Let's try it against the ZUMG. See how it fares. Honestly, I'm expecting this to do really well. But we'll see. Honestly, could could be wrong. Uh, but it looks like it can actually take down a ZUMG on its own. Unlike it could before. So, uh, command, like, so Pashi looking like a good tower. Definitely looking like a good tower. Yeah. It's fairing on its own, but I think if you're going to get um, an aeroplane-based tower to take down a ZOMG, I think you should go with Spectre. It's only 4000 more dollars, and it still shoots all over the map. I think it's better, and now with um, Nevimus targeting, the darts should home in way more. But this looks good. And now let's check out the Apache Prime. It's going to absolutely destroy this. Yeah. So the Apache Prime has had increased machine gun damage from 3 to 5, and the Moab rocket damage now does 16 instead of 11 damage. I want to see how this does against a bad. Um, hopefully it can take down a bad on its own. I think that would be pretty cool. It looks like it, looks like it can. Um, this is a really expensive tower, unfortunately, and nearing around $60,000 in chimps. But this could replace the Comanche, honestly. Um... It looks like it can level itself out with the Comanche. In fact, it's doing even more damage than the Comanche um, itself uh, from my testing on Moab uh, on that one map. So, yeah, I think, yeah, this is a suitable Comanche replacement, and it's also the Heli Pilot. I could see myself using this. I could definitely see myself using this tower. Um... Now, now I think the buffs the buffs are right. Let's try against round ninety eight, and we'll send one. Yeah, this is this is really good. Paired up with the um, bombs and stuff in this tower, it looks like this tower can go ham. I, yeah, I I think this is the new Comanche. I think this could be the new Comanche. I gotta test it, but um, when it comes when the game comes out on Steam, you can you can definitely bet I'm gonna try this. This is this is good. This is this is a step in the right direction. Uh, um, this has been I think this has been properly buffed. I don't see too much wrong with it. Obviously, it's still gonna suck against Super Ceramics, but you can get recursive clusters for that, and um, 
really, this is this is good. I think this is good. Let's clear the balloons. We can also sell this Comanche. I mean, not Comanche. I'm always gonna say Comanche because it's a heli pilot, unfortunately. Um, so we only got a few more things to go. Bear with me here. We've been here for almost 40 minutes, so thank you if you're sticking around. Um, mortar monkey blast radius, you know, um, bigger blast radius has been increased. That's good. Uh, big one has had a price nerf. I mean, buff. That's awesome. Big one's kind of been shafted. Let's see. So it's only uh, $8,000 now. That's pretty nice. And the biggest one has had a big price buff, too. That's amazing. You know, it drops 6K. Um, and let's see. The blast radius has been increased a lot. So let's look at this blast. It looks it looks massive. It really does look massive. Like, I think if I place it right there, it'll just get everything here. It, that looks amazing. Let me just... Let me just send, like, 63 at it or something. Well, let's try 63. Let's see how this does. Wow! It pops all the way over here. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Look at that. So, it looks like there's, like, um, scatter shots. It absolutely destroys 63. Absolutely destroys 63. What about against 81? Let's just check it against Super Ceramics. Um, let's just think it's still struggling. No, this tower, I think, can do it. This tower, I think, has the capabilities now of actually being a good cleanup tower. Um, we'll do 100, because why not? And we'll set the spacing to zero. And, uh, let's see if this thing can, you know, just... It stuns? Well, yeah. Yeah. This is this is a good end game tower now. This can deal with super ceramics. This is now good. Correctly buffed. Correct. Good change. Good change. Um, the X three now does extra damage to Moabs. No, that's okay. Um, no, not not too much to see there. You just get just get big one or something. It's not worth it. Um, oh, so it isn't that. So blue incineration. Now creates um, the wall of fire effect um, that I noticed earlier, which is really neat. Like that's cool. Um, I love wall of fires and um, the cocktails. This is pretty good. Here's a price buff and can now damage all balloon types. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, love. I really like the mortar now. I think I want to try the big one, biggest one out. Seems to be a good tower. Let's talk about Spactory. Uh, Spactory, the spike balls now do more damage. All right, oh, you know that's that's pretty good. Uh, seems like Super Mines didn't really get a buff, unfortunately. Uh, spiked Mines is more damage, increased from four to five. Moab Shutter does more damage from four to five. Carbon Spikes does more damage from five to six, and uh, Perma Spike. Um, now you have more of an incentive to get the two X five. Um, now it has um. From plus 10 to plus 20 um, spikes, but uh, I still don't think it's worth it. I think you should just get a 0, 2, 5 and get an alchemist. Just split the difference. You're going to get an alchemist anyway. Just just do it. Let's see. Um, the primary expertise village. Let's get on to the village buffs now. Um, now this, this looks like it's going to be really good. Um, so primary expertise... Um, Increases your primary tower's pierce from 2 to 4. That's probably going to be amazing. And now apparently this thing is really good against Moabs and Ceramics. Uh, so let's just send round 81 at it. Let's just give this a shot. It does um, 200 damage. Is that what I read now? Yeah, so it does 200 damage. Wow, it one-shot Ceramics. Okay, wow, this thing is really good. It one-shot Ceramics. Let's try it. Let's just send a ton of fortified ceramics for no reason. Let's just see how that fares. Um, I don't think it'll hit them. Oh, nope. It one-shots fortified ceramics. Wow. Okay. Um, I think this thing is very usable. This, yeah. So I heard uh, primary expertise, you know, this got a huge buff, and I'm very happy with this buff. It looks like it does a lot of damage. 
Call to Arms got a price um, price buff from 24k to 20k. That's pretty good. Homeland Defense got a duration increase and also got a buff power. Oh, it goes from 50% to 100%. That is really nice. Um, Homeland Defense in the late game is a savior, and I think that'll really help the late game. Let's see. Talking about Obin, just got damage and pierce buffs on level up. Not much to say. Obin might be really good. Uh, might be better now, but... I don't think Obin will ever take Striker Jones unless it also does a little bit more than it does. Um, Striker Jones and Gwendolyn are just so good that I don't think damage buffs on itself. Well, it increases Magic Monkey Pierce. That could be usable, but I don't think Obin will ever be as good as Striker Jones or Gwen. But, you know, we'll use, uh, we'll definitely use it. We'll definitely use Obin to see how it works in the new patch whenever it comes out on Steam. And then Captain Churchill now gets levels faster. XP requirements have been reduced by 10%. So, yay, Churchill. Maybe you can get a level 20 Churchill by round 100. I'll have to check that out when I do chimps. And so, big change. Kind of big, I mean. Uh, any X4X or X5X uh, towers with cash generating abilities will now start their ability on maximum cooldown. So, you can't just get the get the money quicker, basically. I think that's a nice change, and uh, that's the final change that I see in the Reddit post. And so we've had this, you know, we've been discussing this for about an hour now. This could be like a, like a 50-minute long upload. Um, my overall thoughts on this update is it's really good. I really can't wait for it to come to Steam because I'm not playing this game on blue stacks. No way. Um, no way will I be playing this on blue stacks. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow, and so hopefully by Saturday... Hopefully by Saturday we get this on Steam. But if not, um, you know, maybe I'll stream this on Blue Stacks. Maybe not. Maybe I'll stream late Friday night. I don't know. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're still here on Twitch, if you're one of the four, or still around, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope this was informative. I, you know, if you watched all the way through, thank you so much. I know it's kind of a lot of me rambling, but I want to get a thorough look at all the patch notes like I used to do for SAS4. So. Um, Hope you enjoy, and I'm out. Peace.